up early and heading out of Reno about 30 miles east on Interstate 80, where we exit at Wadsworth and head north for another 52 miles past Winnemucca Lake to a dirt road turnoff. Here we meet Jack Hirsch of the University of Nevada School of Mines and Geology, who had a hand in naming McLean Peak after Alvin. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Good to see How you. How are you? Good morning. Right, Good thanks. to see you. Thanks for coming out to meet us here. Oh, you bet. Anytime. So which peak is Alvin's? Alvin is right there. McLean Peak. See it over there? Oh, yeah. In that area of the range. That is cool. I can't wait to get up there. Yeah. But before we do that, we're going to go visit some rock shelters where really early Americans lived right below McLean Peak. Oh, cool. Look forward to that. Sounds like a great day. We start down a graded dirt road that our GPS tells us is called, and this is real, Wild Ass Road. Soon we realize where that name came from. A slow drive down a long wash eventually leads us to within sight of the cave. All right, so as we're, we're hiking up to the rock shelters 13,000 years ago, the lake was several hundred feet above us. So as the large lake level was settled in here, algae grew on the rocks, and then calcium carbonate was captured by the algae in the warm, shallow waters at this level, and then formed into rock. And that is what we are looking at right in front of us are these shoreline tufas and these tufas clinging to the rocks above the entrance to the rock shelter. You know, it's amazing when you come into the desert and you hear terms like shoreline. You know, you, you don't think about how different the landscape was that many years ago. Well, and if you look across too, you can see the shorelines. And if you go up further on the mountains, you can see the shoreline levels that are at the same level that we are at right now. So see how deep the lake was. Oh yeah. It's mind blowing to think about that much water being here. That was ancient Lake Lahontan. So 13,000 years ago, this was a huge deep lake that covered most of Northwestern Nevada. These rock shelters were inhabited by what is called the Lovelock culture. So we're talking about 1,000 to 4,000 years ago. So there was a lot of hunting, bird life, fish, and a lot of uh, seeds and roots that they could gather and they uh, inhabited these rock shelters and caves and looked out open over a shallow lake that was uh, rich in resources of food. Let's go have a look. And here we have a really good view inside here of the shoreline tufa. You can see that on the ceiling, it's hanging down, the beautifully preserved inside the rock yeah. shelter here of this. It makes amazing texture. Really interesting. What's in there? Can we go in that little yeah, space? Yeah, there's a narrow passage here, and then it truly, you might say, becomes a cave because we <laughs> lose light. Oh, all right. Let's go on in. Wow, do you feel how cool it feels in here? Oh, yeah. It even feels cool and looks cool. I mean, this is this really is how neat. Big. You could really, you could fit a big house inside here. <laughs> so this was, you think, where people spent most of their time when they lived here? I think so, and particularly wintertime, the harsh times of the year, they would have taken shelter here, and I think they could have packed in quite a few people with all these ledges and different, maybe family units camping I can, around. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine different locations, yeah. you know? And then areas for storing food and... You really feel protected in here. Well, it'd be a real constant temperature. Warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer, just like we're feeling the coolness yeah. because it's a pretty warm day outside. And, but it'd be fairly constant in here. The food would not spoil, so they would uh, could take advantage of that. They could leave and they could go hunting in other areas and then come back and their food would still be in good condition and anything else that they brought along. Well, which is amazing, a lot of the artifacts, the basketry that's just, it's an organic artifact made from tule reeds, lasted thousands of years. Preserved, preserved just, in this environment. Preserved beautifully. So what makes something an artifact? Well, an artifact is a, is a, a remnant of, a, of a, human, a human made object that is, has cultural ties uh, left behind by previous uh, people. Look at this ladder here. Well, that's an artifact in itself in that the uh, 
archaeological surveys in the 1960s built that ladder to go up to that ledge to look for artifacts. Many layers of history, both geological and cultural. And I'll show you as we're leaving the beautiful view of McLean oh, Peak. Excellent. Sounds good. Up to you. All right, check this out. This is what I wanted to show you. This view. That's McLean Peak right there. Oh, cool. I can't wait That's to get up there. That's where we're going next. Let's go. After you. All right. Wildlife just keeps coming out for us today. Jack sees a rattlesnake and, of course, our crew jumps out to see it, but we all keep our distance. We're going to take this trail, we're going to go up over this summit, and then we'll have a nice view of the backside cool. of McLean Peak. This hike is a special one for us. We met Alvin McLean on the very first day we ever worked on Wild Nevada, and Alvin took us on a hike. What's really great right now, you see the, the rose hips, they're, they're just perfect for making tea right now. He was so enthusiastic and friendly that we invited him again and again. And Alvin always shared something new and exciting about Nevada with us. He was one of a kind. So what is your favorite place to hike? Oh, I really don't have a favorite place. Matter of fact, I just call it Nevada. <laughs> Alvin died in 2006, and making this program is just not the same without him. When we found out there was a peak named for him, well, we just had to see it. How did you meet Alvin? How did you know him? Well, working at the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology, and I already knew who he was, and so I'd have conversations with him, and I was fascinated, always have been, about the Winnemucca Lake area. It's always just been awesome to me. And so Alvin and I many times would just stand in the hall and have conversations and the most memorable conversations I had with him were about Winnemucca Lake, and he described all of the petroglyph sites around Winnemucca Lake. And so as we deliberated over the considerations and the different sites, our board, the Nevada State Board on Geographic Names, felt that this was the best candidate. They really liked it. Hey, look, there's where we were earlier today. Oh, yeah. You see the, the cave rock shelters are right down there. Beautiful all right. view. All the way around. I mean, anywhere you look, it's pretty stunning. And one of my favorite memories of Alvin, I think about going out and exploring with him, and is I like to think of myself as a fairly active person, but I just had such a hard time keeping up with him. If I could keep up with a man that was, what, 40 years my senior, I was so proud of myself. Oh my gosh, look at that view. I want to go over there. Okay. How do we get to there? So from here, and we get down into that crevasse, and then we have to scramble up the rocks to get on top of McLean Peak. All right, looking forward to seeing Alvin's peak from Alvin's point of view. Yes. Absolutely. You know he would have gotten to the he top. He would have loved it. I bet he was there. All right, well, let's head down. The last climb to the peak is the most challenging, with three and four point scrambling required almost the entire way. After a few minutes of very focused climbing, we finally reached the top. What a view! <laughs> Is this awesome? <laughs> Take your breath away. Oh, it's gorgeous. On top of the world. Alvin would be proud. Thanks for bringing us up here. What a cool Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for joining me. Spot. This has been a fantastic day. We need to sign the registry. <laughs> Let's see, it's got to be around here somewhere. I think it's right. Here we go. His trait, when you see Alvin, he was so easy to talk to. 
down to earth. And he's probably the most esteemed, knowledgeable Nevadan that we knew. And his knowledge came about, it was, it was boots on the ground. And he was out there. He knew every, he knew every place in Nevada. He knew, he knew its intimate details. And he was very modest and, and could share it with you. And it inspired you to get out there and, and enjoy it as well. You know, I'd always enjoyed hiking and being outside, and Alvin really helped me bring it to a new level. He, he helped me develop an appreciation for not just Nevada, but being outdoors and exploring that in a lot of ways, I don't think I would have if it hadn't been for meeting Alvin. Yeah. You know, he gave me a new appreciation for geology and geography. I, my one story that I always will remember is we were coming out of a canyon at, in Prandigat Valley where he took us, and as we're walking out, this is off camera now, we're just done, we've finished our hike and now we're just going back to the car and a little pebble goes tick, 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 falls off a cliff, you know, and, and he goes, and he stops, he goes, whoa, a geologic event. And I go, I remember thinking, there's a pebble falling off a rock, off a cliff, what's that? And he says, I don't know, that, that's how it happens. And, and I, it just like a light bulb went off and I realized, yeah, that pebble times millions of times over millions of years built that canyon and that mountain and, you know, these valleys, and, and it just kind of opened my eyes. Well, we wanted to honor Alvin in our way from uh, the Wild Nevada team, so we made this little page that we're going to put up here. It says, hello, you're on top of Alvin McLean Peak, and it's got a story of Alvin and some photos that we took in old shows, and this is a thumb drive that has four episodes that we did with Alvin in, in past years, and we're gonna keep it up here with the registry. And if you come up here to Alvin McLean Peak and find it, please take it home and enjoy the shows. Uh, un unwrap it from here and please leave the sheet, because I'd love for anybody who comes up here to find a story of who Alvin was, because we loved him and we really wanna honor him. And I wanna say thanks to Jack oh, for bringing welcome. us up here. Absolutely. It's been a great time. You're welcome, it, it's been a great day. It's been it. such an honor to be able to be some of the first people to get to be on top of McLean Peak. Yeah. 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 There's no better place for us to end a trip. Mm -hmm.